Hey everyone, welcome back to Miniature Painting 101, a series of videos where I teach you all about painting miniatures from start to finish and everything in between. And this is part 147, Chibi Eyes. It's a fa I love painting Chibi Eyes, they're a lot of fun. It's one of the things that bring Chibi Miniatures to life, is the eyes, and that's, it's a lot of fun to paint them. And I'm going to show you a detail on this Frankenstein model, the one we used to paint the very first skin tones. As you can see, I've just worked on them just a little bit since, not too much, and today we're going to work on his eyes and bring him to life. So we're going to start off with chestnut brown or on his entire eye. Um, this is kind of the one weird step that most people don't see coming, is most Chibi painters use a dark brown or a light gr or dark gray on the entire eye first. And what this is going to do is we're going to intentionally leave a little bit of area around the eye when we're painting the whites and that way it, it adds some contrast and adds some more definition to the uh, the eye. Basically it has that little line around it in the end which just really makes the eye stand out relative to the skin tone and really pop. So the first step of course is to take my chestnut brown from Reaper. I thinned it down a little bit more with some Lamy medium so it's nice and thin. We are going to use a lot of of layers on these eyes today so nice thin paints is where you want to be right you don't want it to clump up and ruin the eyes we want to bring these things to life so as you can see here I'm just getting nice coverage over the entire eye with chestnut brown the other option is just paint the whites and then do a thin line but I like to do this method and once it's entirely done I'm gonna take ghost white first also from Reaper ghost white is like white but has a blue tint to it it's a slightly cooler white off-white essentially and so as you can see here, I'm going to first just etch out a very thin line around the uh, around the edges of the eyes. So I'm going to leave a little bit of the brown and then have some nice, solid, steady strokes and leave uh, that nice line around the eye. And I'm just going to then cut it in afterwards off camera. So once I have the entire uh, cutout done, I'll just fill it in with some ghost white and continue from there. For the first few steps I'm only going to show you on one eye because it's just the same on the other eye and just uh, to be more efficient. So this year I'm constantly reloading my brush because I'm only using a little bit on my, my paintbrush. Make sure it's a nice thin line around the eye of that chestnut brown and then I'm just going to follow around the entire eye and cut it in and fill it in. That's essentially it for the ghost white. Fill that in, and here's what they look like afterwards. As you can see, now it has that line around it, and it's filled in. So now we're gonna take some white scar and mix it in with the ghost white. So first, it'll be about a two to one mix of ghost white and white scar. Now what I'm gonna do is, I'm, because these are such large eyes, this is a particularly large chibi miniature. I'm gonna go with more detail, and that's what I'm gonna show you today. So these steps are optional. You can kind of stop at the ghost white if you wish, but because he has such large eyes and it's a larger miniature, I'm gonna create a quick gradient of whites along his eyes towards the bottom. So I'm gonna take this mixture and then start at the bottom, work my way towards the top, ending about three quarters the way up. And I'm just gonna build a quick gradient so towards the bottom of the eye will be actually truer to white versus the top, which I should be the white scar. And then I'm gonna add some more ghost white to the mix and repeat this process. So uh, it'll be now about a one-to-one -one mix of ghost white and, uh, and white scar afterwards. So right now I'm just doing the other eye, as you can see. So now it's starting to build that gradient. If you look carefully, you can see the, the bluer tones at the top. And then once again, add more white into the mix and continue this pattern, starting at the bottom of the eye, working my way in the same shape as the eye itself. And going halfway up. And then after this, it'll just be a pure ghost, sorry, pure white scar, and repeat this process along the bottom. That way the white, the truest white is actually along the bottom of the eye. And so this is a, an extra step, just because the eyes are so large on this particular miniature, and it's a larger miniature, you can have fun and do these extra steps, which just pay off a little bit in the end. So once again, white scar just by itself, along the very bottom of the eye to create the gradient. So this is a lot of paints, so use thin paints. I thinned down all my GW paints, and even pretty much my Reaper paints with Lamy Medium in this tutorial, just to keep things nice and clean and have them blend nicely together. So as you can see, we're just going along the bottom with the white scar, and that gradient is, is appearing. If you look carefully, that's what we try to do. It's just a subtle gradient, so it's cool, extra details. So now we have the whites done. As you can see, there's a good gradient to the eyes, and it looks like the eyebrows are essentially shading the eyes. And uh, really cool. This is an extra step, but it really pays off if you have such a large miniature. So now we're gonna take gray liner, or black, if you wish black. I just like gray liner. It's a dark matte gray from Reaper. 
and uh, has the same effect, just dries dark matte gray. I prefer that over the black. So now we're gonna figure out the pupils. Now for the pupils, what I'm gonna do is it's basically like a slightly cut off oval. So the oval will round out at the bottom, but it's gonna be cut at the top. I'm not gonna allow the round out at the top. So it's kind of as if the eyebrow is, is covering the top of the pupil as you're gonna see. So I'm gonna just start off at a straight edge, uh, perpendicular to the eyebrow, and then I'm gonna round it out at the bottom. And that way, as I said, this is a common technique. Some people like to have the full pupils. I particularly like this style. Uh, it was shown to me by Mark Maxey, who is a very good chibi miniature painter. And I, just, I like his method better. Um, I like to round it out to pupils at the bottom, as you can see, and then we're just gonna cut them at the top. That way, as I said, it just, it looks like, it, it's on, it creates less of a scary appearance. Uh, it, it looks more natural, I find. But as I said, it really brings the miniature's life to their large eyes. And we're gonna just then, after that, we're gonna fill it in and then clean it up slightly by just cleaning up the, the, uh, the lines. And that's it, if you wanted to finish here, you know what, this is a way to finish if you have a smaller miniature. As you see, they look pretty decent, they have large eyes, and we'll bring them to life. But of course, this is such a detailed miniature, I would never stop here. So let's keep going. Once again, I wanna show the detailed way of painting the eyes, so now we're gonna add some color and uh, some, some more life to these eyes. Because as I said, it's, it's a larger miniature, larger eyes. This is how I would typically paint my chibi eyes. So now we're gonna take some Calador Sky and we're gonna paint some, some, again, like, uh, it's hard to describe, basically round, it's like a U that comes to a point, essentially. I decided, uh, but what I did was for eyes for chibi miniatures, what I recommend, look at anime eyes very similar appearance, and then choose whichever one you want to go for, and go for it. And these ones you'll see the pattern eventually. So I'm gonna start with U's. Essentially they're, they're like slightly rounder U's with, with sharper edges at the top. And I'm gonna paint the color of sky, and then I'm gonna work my way inwards, as you can see these U's, and I'm gonna work my way inwards with lighter blues afterwards. So these are gonna create the, the color area of the eye, and again, really bring this miniature to life. And that's the cool thing about chibis, is they have such large eyes. This is the, the eyes are essentially the key to the soul for this miniature, and the real key. Um, it, as far as all miniatures I painted, I find chibis alone are the ones that um, rely on the detail of the eyes the most. So, as you can just paint these use carefully, detailed, with my Calador Sky thinned down. And you'll slowly see the, the pattern. Cool. And then I'm gonna repeat this on the other side. As you see the, and of course, because we uh, put them over a darker color, the darker background, you can always clean it up later with some gray liner. Now I'm gonna take some techless blue, add it to the color sky, and repeat this process, working my way inwards of those blue lines. So I'll paint the very center parts of them. And as you can see, you notice, yeah, it, towards the inside it's gonna be lighter. with just Teclas Blue by itself afterwards. And now it's Teclas Blue along the very inner line, the very center of these patterns. Just to give it some life, as I said. A few extra steps, but it goes a long way with this miniature. And that's done. Now you can see the eye pattern, and it's nice and uh, clean. And we're gonna keep going now. The final step: ghost white. So we're gonna use ghost white. As you can see now, the eyes, the blues are done. I cleaned them up slightly with some gray liner. And now I'm gonna take some ghost white and paint a large circle in each area, just to bring those. This is the the final, the icing on the cake. But this really is just that step that goes makes it you know pop and makes brings so much life. So I'm gonna take a very large oval, as you can see with my brush, 
on the eyes, and that's what essentially gives them that, that shiny appearance and that wrap that it really brings the eyes to life. Look at that, after you put it in there, it just instantly has that effect on the eye. And I'm just gonna take a, make, just take a step back, make sure that it's nice and round, and try to keep it as clean as possible, so I might just quickly clean up the lines a little bit by adding a little more white. Maybe make it a little bit larger. But as you can see, look at that. Those extra steps really pay off on this miniature and brings the miniature so much more to life and has now a lot more character in it. Again, we did a lot, a lot of steps in this video, but it really does pay off when you're painting eyes on chibis. And after one more cleanup step, just cleaning up the, the white boy to make it a little rounder. Here is what the miniature looks like. As you can see now, you can clearly set gradient along the eyes, the whites, and then the blues are really bright. If anything, I would have just maybe straightened out the, the one eye a little more, brought them in, in made them look like he's a little less uh, lazy eye, but that's okay. As you can see, it took several steps, but in the end, the eyes look really good on this particular Frankenstein model, and he's brought to life. And that's you paint chibi eyes, just a particular pattern. So as always, thank you so much for watching this episode of Miniature Painting 101. I really hope you enjoyed it and learned a bit of painting chibi eyes. Stay tuned for next week's episode, part 148, which is just around the corner. Leave comments in the comment section down below of what you want to see in future videos. And I'll do my best to make sure that every suggestion happens. So thank you as always for subscribing to my channel. Stay tuned for more videos. Until then, this is Jay saying, happy painting, everyone.